the next year here but you know it's good to do on a rainy day snuggle up beside the fireplace with your boo thing I mean do some home improvement work because that's what we're getting ready to do today folks we're on our way right now to go pick up rabbit there's nobody in the back seat right now we're ubering Dave out here because Dave lives so far away Dave, you're going to need to get a bicycle or something, man. I mean, for real. You're going to need to get a bicycle and ride that thing down the interstate. But we're going to pick up Rabbit. We haven't seen him in a while. We're going to touch base with Rabbit, see how the new place is working out for him, see how he's doing, do an update with Rabbit, get Dave, and all the while, we're going to be doing some work in the new place. Some After Prison Show meets HGTV is definitely about to get underway today. And also, potentially... We might be dealing with another offer up thing today, Cody. Oh, God. I found a washer and dryer. And this is at a shop. The guy said, hey, just come meet me at my shop. Oh, so maybe easy then. Yeah. So we got a lot of things to do today, folks. And uh, it's early. We're getting this, we're getting the day started. Or, well, that's actually 10 o'clock, but that's early for us. So the adventure is about to begin. Going off roading to go get rabbit. You remember where the place was at? Yeah. Man. I wonder if we'll see that weird guy out here with the two different color shoes on. What didn't make that video was that guy walking up to me asking me if I knew. Hey, you know who such and such is? This is vehicle right here, ain't it? I mean, I don't know who you talking about. I can't get past the fact that you got on a red and a white tennis shoe. And then he just went and got up inside that vehicle with a little fifth of some liquor. Hey, you know a guy by the name of Rabbit by any chance? Yeah, he went that way. He went, hey! <laughs> oh. Come on, hop up on in here. I can make this work. Yeah, the back of the truck is super dirty, Rabbit. I apologize, man. I can make it work. No big deal. What's been going on with you, buddy? Oh, man, I'm... I worked yesterday, so that's a plus. Heck yeah. Uh, you know, everything's going good, man. Um, you know, uh, my sole purpose for moving here was to save money so I could, you know, get the hell out of here or get up my own shit. You know? Right. And um, so, so far the weather has really compromised that situation. But it'll pick up, you know. Yeah, it's definitely been a lot of rain lately. Oh, hold on. I got to take this call. Sorry about that, Rabbit. I thought that was a dumpster getting ready to get delivered to my place. Okay. So, uh, you know, um, I mean, I've been I've been on Facebook a lot. I saw you up there yesterday. Yeah, you know, I try to I try to keep up with people and let everybody know what's going on with me. You know? How did uh, I saw that you had made a post about going to probation? How did that work out? <laughs> Great, man. My PO was stoked, dude. She's really happy about all my progress and that, you know things are going well with me. And um, she's talking. Early release, possibly in a year. Oh man, that's as awesome! As I keep my shit together. How is the how's the living situation? Oh, uh, it's all right, man. You know, uh, actually, I just you know we kind of kind of bump into the dude here and there. You know, he works, I work, so you know, um, I do my own thing. I stay in the room a lot. You know, watch TV. TV's working out for you. Oh, right, most definitely. You got a lot of channels. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty good, man. It works out pretty good. Um, and uh, I got a. Uh, um, I, you know, I guess I do the social media thing, you know, that's my phone steady going off now. You been talking to any girls lately? A couple. Okay, okay, rabbit. Yeah, I mean, you know, nothing, nothing that, you know, I would consider it serious or anything like that, you know. Uh, 
you know, I've got a, a friend Michelle that lives in Florida. She's a big inspiration to me. That's awesome. So, yeah, so I want to give a special shout out to her if I can. Definitely. Well, special shout out to Michelle down in Florida. Um, it's a nasty day. And I know you ain't working, so I'm gonna I'm gonna put you to work today, Rabbit. We're gonna do a little follow-up with you. I got Dave on the way out and uh get to show you the new place that I just got. That sounds great, man. The, yeah, and it needs a lot of work, man. So all right, well uh you know, hopefully during this bad weather season maybe I can get a lot of work in with you. There ain't no uh, definitely. And I don't want to take away from the work that you're already doing with Sean, but if there are days when you're not working, right. you know, you come work with me. Yeah, lock that in. I like Definitely. it. I like it. Well, we're getting ready to go do that right now. Uh, so we're going to go to this flooring place real quick. We got to go get some floors. We're going to take a left. And uh, we're going to go get Dave after that. Floor traders. You know what's funny is they got a, a ad that plays on, on YouTube. And, like, that's the only ad that I see now is for this place. Floor trader. Are you looking for tile, laminate? Linoleum, carpet. Come see us over here at Floor Trader. Oh, I'm about to come see you right now. All right, so we just ordered the flooring, and now we're getting ready to we're getting ready to test the load capacity of this vehicle. <laughs> yeah, most definitely. That's a lot of flooring, bro. We're getting ready to put a uh, 1,000 and something odd square feet of really nice flooring. It's a whole pallet plus in the back of this truck and I guarantee you boy this thing is gonna be driving you a low rider in a minute Cody. Put the cargo mode on. Yeah. Just make sure your front wheels are still touching the ground. <laughs> so Rabbit you were telling me that you told your probation officer about getting pulled over on the moped and everything was okay. Yeah yeah she um she's like you know, she just kind of blew it off like I mean really understanding because you know I was on my way to work you know so. You weren't doing uh, nothing wrong. No I wasn't doing nothing wrong man but I told her you know um you know, she asked me about the moped, and then I told her that, you know, I had a friend of mine had, you know, let me use it, and that, um, that hopefully we could get the title situation straight on it, and I'd be able to use it to get back and forth to work. Right. And, um, and she said that would be great. So. Heck know, yeah. Yeah, that's definitely awesome. Well, I'll tell you what's even more definitely awesome is the fact that we don't got to lift all of these boxes of flooring right now. Most definitely. Oh, here they come. All right. Now, where's Dave at, man? Oh, he won't be unloading it. Don't worry. Right. Dave's going to be unloading this. <laughs> All right. Hey, don't mess with that man's truck. You're on YouTube. Got a video on YouTube. You're on YouTube. Bitch, mama, you're on camera. <laughs> no, not unless it's one of the major networks. <laughs> oh, look at the lady. Oh, man. Here you go, huh? Woo! Oh. Yeah. Nice. Oh, ho, 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 ho. <laughs> oh, my God. I don't think that's going to be able to. That's a nice week. Oh, watch oh, out the oh, pallet. Oh, oh. What? Keep up looking at the pallet coming off. Yeah. Uh, coming off. Yeah, yeah, oh, careful now. Good lord. Squatting. <laughs> All right, that's good. That's good right there, right on the axle. Really? Right where you need it. Is that good enough? Or that's perfect, man. That ain't going nowhere. All right. Ooh. Put it in tow mode. Try to put it in tow mode. Actually, it's got you cargo feel mode. It first. Yeah. You gotta first. You know. If, <laughs> if, if, got a low rider now. It, if you feel it, yeah. If you feel it maybe dragging a little bit, put it yeah. in tow mode. Yeah. Well, I put it in tow mode. My damn ball hitch is about... 
I think we should keep it like this, man. I can get up in the truck now. <laughs> what do you think, Rav? It's not so high getting up in here now. I like it. <laughs> I mean, you know, I don't need a ladder on this side now. Uh, All right. Um, well, we ain't going to war fast today. I want to hurry up and get this stuff unloaded out of my truck. All right. We're going to go pick Dave up. We're going to try to get there. Does it ride different? I can't tell yet. Whatever you do, don't take any uh, turns going fast, Cody. We will flip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, most definitely. Hope we don't blow a tire. Uh, you got off our tires, you All right, so we're gonna go pick Dave up. We're gonna go drop this flooring off. And then it's time to put some work in. Anyway, so we got Dave, and uh, we got Rabbit. Peace. Hell yeah. So what we really got, are some workers today little worker bees what are they behind the uh, <laughs> we got some little worker bees in the back of the truck they back there all the worker bees all right so anyways we're on our way to the house right now we're gonna drop off this floor and hopefully this dumpster is gonna get delivered at some point uh dave yo also so could potentially have another offer up mission I'm not going to get somebody else's washer and dryer for you, bro. <laughs> I already did that once. <laughs> I already did that once. Come on, bro. No, I'll go get his washer and dryer. After he already had gone and got their washer and dryer for them. There was the refrigerator. Nah, no, I'll do it. I heard about the refrigerator escapade. Oh, man. That was, uh, that was interesting. Thank you so much for everything you've so, done. So, uh, I hope you die of dehydration. So. Dave was working so hard for these folks, and so, they were nice people. Did Little Rock put his work in? Yeah, he did, a little bit. He did. Yeah, so little, but the, from little Rock. But I guess the thing that really got Dave all salty and sour was the fact that he seen their entire refrigerator sitting on their kitchen counter, and there was some fresca sitting there. You got a fresca, didn't you? No, I ain't get it. What? She ain't even offer you no water. She ain't even offer me a fresca, man. Come on. It, man. Hey, look, for real, all jokes aside, they were super cool people. And if you would have asked for a drink, they, they would have gave me probably whatever I asked for. Yeah. Man. All right, we have arrived at the house. That's why we got cameras right here. If we can do it. Boy, though, that backup camera, though, is something. We can actually pull it into the garage, too, yeah, Cody. Get the yeah. <laughs> She survived. Hey, take your shoes off in the house. <laughs> hey, y'all do me a favor. Hey, take your shoes off in my driveway. <laughs> hey, hey. He's seen the backyard. was like, damn, we gonna have a baseball game? That joint better than a prison rec yard, ain't it? Well, we got a lot of work going on in here. Cody's tearing stuff up. Cody's in the pantry. Hell yeah, Cody. Boy, look at these walls. These are something to be admired. Hold on, I hear a radio. Ain't no radio at work. Hey, where'd my floor go? Wow. You guys ain't playing no games in here. How's it coming along, Rabbit? Easy. <laughs> Stuff just slides right out, don't it? Yeah, man, they didn't glue this down or nothing. Somebody did a really professional job on this. Well, at least it made it easy for us. Where's Dave at? Dave! Where you at, Dave? What are you listening to? You think we can sell this flooring? 
Is it worth anything to anybody? No. Probably not. Dude, appreciate it, man. You're busting your butt in here. Yeah. Sorry, I had to deal with the ADT guy. I guess he's still sitting out there, maybe. I mean, that's what's up. I'm glad you got that situated. Home security, man. Where are you going to take? I just broke it around it. When it's time to lay the floors, they can pull the doors off. So you said that there's a window where we can throw this stuff out the window to the dumpster? Hopefully. And where is the dumpster? Right here. You, this one that opens, alright? And you got a pretty much a flat roof right there. You can walk right there and somebody can be out there and just throw it. You know what I'm saying? I can be on the roof and just hand it out and throw it into the dumpster. That roof is wet though, Rabbit. And your point is? I mean, even if we just throw it down into the yard and then somebody down on the, I can be down on the ground or somebody can be down there. It'd just be easy to knock it all out in one shot without having to handle it. You know, I yeah, yeah, I, I, I'm gonna make this easy. Right. One thing that I used to hate about working for people. That right there, it should open. Yeah. One thing that I used to hate about working for people is when they think they got all the damn sense, but they don't, and they just want to make the job harder. Well, I'll tell you what. If this was my job, and this wasn't your house, this was like a homeowner, and I sold this job, we wouldn't throw nothing out the window. Why? Because what if you hit something or break the the casing on the window or mess up their gutter? You better not mess up that gutter. Just, but right. look at the roof, Dave. The roof ain't nothing. I'm just saying that is how you have to think if you own your own construction company. What if someone comes out here and trips while they're throwing that and it hits a window or knocks the casing out or whatever? Boy, if you trip, you this know. stuff's heavy. You're you gonna know. throw it out a piece by piece. Throw it out two, three pieces. All right, you you throw it two, three pieces at a time. I'll carry 20 down the stairs and come back up and get another 20. That's working harder, Dave, not smarter. I'm getting it done faster. You try to pry that off. Here's a screwdriver. Can you pry it off of that? Oh, I want the switches off. It don't matter. There's no power going to it. Oh, here. Let me take that. Man, that sucker's heavy. Yeah. One hand. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Pizza Hut, we got your light, man. Thanks for letting this bar with. All right. So for the first day of renovations in this house, everybody uh, got a nice cube and cookie. <laughs> We've lost two employees. They're gonna be buried in the backyard. <laughs> yeah. So we've got some lights down. We've got the entire Is that right or yours. Uh, oh. We got the lights down, or a couple of lights down. The entire upstairs is tore out. Uh, the dining room. Let's go look at the dining room real quick. Dave did this while me and Cody uh, went and got lunch for everybody. Folks, we're dealing with some. Uh, we're dealing with some some problems here. Now, I don't know if that's black mold or not, but there's a good potential that it probably is. Hey, Joe. Smell it. I don't know what black mold is supposed Just to smell. I'm not smelling it, man. It's probably going to smell like doo-doo. Or battery. If it smells like battery, it's black mold? It'll have like that. A city? Acoline. Yeah. All right. Weird. Don't kill yourself. Hey, I'm the foreman of this job. You got to, you're about to be on the floor, man. We got a barrel find it by you for you too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, look, unfortunately, this carpet is coming up too. So we're going to get a measurement of this room. <clears throat> but we're not going to destroy this carpet because Rabbit's going to take this to the place where he's staying at. And this is perfectly good carpet right here. I hate to see this carpet go. Mm -hmm. But my wife wants flooring in here. The other big thing is the damn dumpster. I ordered a dumpster yesterday. What was the time frame he told you? Six in the morning till six in the evening. Hey, the dumpster will be there sometime between six and six. What type of time frame is that? You know what I've been like? This other place told me they could have it to me by mid by midday, by noon. So you know what's even funnier is I called them when we were coming back here 
And I said, hey, where's the dumpster? Oh, it's on the way. There's only one stop ahead of you. You guys gotta go pick up and dump off a dumpster. Then you gonna go pick up your dumpster and drop it off. Two hours. <laughs> Dumpster's here. Oh no, that's perfect. We're gonna put it right here. Yeah, so weather's horrible, dumpster's there, it's been delivered, and we got the entire upstairs cleaned out, gutted. So what did we get done today? The entire upstairs floor, yep. got all the, uh, the outlet covers off. And switch covers. Switch covers, we got um, some lights taken down. Lights taken down, I pulled up the entire down. dining room floor. Pulled up, yep. Pulled some old wire shelves down. Pulled some shelving down, yeah. Took the lights. Uh, what else did we do? Ate some pizza. We ate pizza. Ate pizza. Yeah. Yeah. Ate some pizza today and worked for free. And worked for free. That's what I'm talking about, Rabbit. Yeah, right. That's teamwork right there. Dave, you hear what he's talking about? Teamwork. I didn't hear. I didn't teamwork hear. makes the dream work, baby. I thought you knew that. Oh, I like that. I like that. Man, I just want to say real quick, man, I really appreciate Dave, Cody, and Rabbit today. Uh, these guys decided, you know, without telling me as much, they worked for free today. And I, I just can't thank them enough for that. Boy, y'all, friends, you know? That's what, that's what having friends is all about. Trying to get the most that you possibly can from them for, for free. But <laughs> well, see, you know, we're having technical, technical difficulties here. Because uh, you forgot the part where we worked for free for the first 30 minutes. Oh, uh, what's it after that? All the rest of it was on the clock. Oh, okay. The 30 minutes was for the pizza. All the rest of it was on the clock. Okay. All right, well. All right. We got a little bit of work done today. It felt good to go in there and tear some stuff up. Um, and all in all, it was a pretty productive day. So, that was day one. 